God has a remedy for a world in chaos. And folks, I want to tell you, God's not going to send angels down to solve our problems. He's going to touch men. He's going to touch women. He's going to cause them. He's going to woo them to draw nigh to Him. I believe that there are two calls that God gives to every man or woman that He touches. And raises up to reach a people. To change things. Even a whole generation. There's a call to come up. And there's a call to come out. And Moses best exemplifies these two calls. And how you respond to these two calls determines the intensity of God's touch in your life. The scripture says of Moses, the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount. And the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mountain. And Moses went up. And the people stood afar off. And Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was. He's called out of his busyness to start an unshackled pursuit after God and to be called into his presence and become a praying man. Not every man who's called up to prayer, not every man who receives this inner wooing of the Holy Spirit to be a man of prayer, to seek him as never before, to know the times, to come to the end of himself and say, God is going to take more than I've been giving you. It's going to take more time, more quality time than I've been willing to give you. I can't be on my own agenda and expect to make a mark, a humble mark, not to be somebody, but even, oh God, to be a vessel, an instrument that you use in these last days. And so many people have been called to a life of prayer, called to come up to the mountain. And they went so far. And every man, every woman who's called to seek the face of God, Not all of them go to the mountain. The majority go halfway up. And there they stop. They don't respond to this call. And he's called you out of the world and out of your business and out of your own agenda. And he's spoken to your heart many times. Just come to the mountain. Come away with me. Come up. And you see, God gives that call to those that he wants to use. And many respond. Moses was not the only man that went up the mountain. There were others called So why were they told when they got halfway up the mountain, worship me afar off, don't come near me. This is God speaking. You cannot come up to the top of the mount. Only Moses shall come up. Every one of them called. Everyone promised by God. He was going to touch their lives. He was going to use them in in a high order that they would be ministers unto him. And then halfway up, the Lord says, Nadab, Abihu, Aaron, you seven the elders, you're not coming. Why was Moses the only one invited to go to the top of the mountain, start in with the glory? These men didn't have their heart in it. God knew what was brewing in their hearts. See, the call now to all of us has come up, and the Lord said unto Moses, come up to the mount and be there. Come up and be there. That hit me so hard. Just come up, and sit, just be there. For six days, Moses wakes quietly, waiting outside the cloud of glory. And the seventh day, he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud and was in the cloud 40 days and 40 nights. Come up and be there. Psalmist said, on thee do I wait all the day. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall not be ashamed who wait upon you. Never be ashamed if you wait upon me, he said. This is the man, this is the woman said, I'll not settle for anything less than face-to-face intimacy with my God. I'll settle for nothing else but answer that call to go to the mountain to be in His glory. I hunger for God, and I'm going all the way. I'm going to seek His face, and I'm going to wait on the Lord. There's a call to come out. You see, God's presence has been lifted from the camp. There was such idolatry and such lust and sensuality. There was such idolatry in the camp. God left. And Moses tries to pray in this atmosphere where there's defilement. The camp was defiled. And he said, you have to come out. What a scene of death when God leaves a congregation. You see, Moses cried out, God, the only thing that makes us different is your presence. If we don't have that, we're just like the rest of the heathen around us. God was gone. And he refused to come back into the camp because it was defiled. God said, they're stiff-necked, they're worthy to be destroyed. 
Moses intercedes in the camp, and after much crying, God said to Moses, Now go, lead the people into the place of which I've spoken. My angels shall go before you. I will send an angel. I'll drive out your enemies. I'll bring you into the land of milk and honey. But I'll not go up in the midst of thee. And Moses knew the risk that would be involved in that. They would always be open to the attack of the enemy. And many in that camp were willing to go on. God says, if you're going to do it in the flesh, if you're going to stay in a place of defilement, I'm not going with you. Now that makes me tremble. Here's what God's calling for. Here's a man who will not give up on his people. Here's a man who won't quit. Here's a man who's not going to run. Here's a man who's willing to weep for his people. But here's a man who says, oh God, and I know you can't move in this situation. And Moses took the tabernacle and pitched it outside the camp, far off from the camp. And he called it the tabernacle of the congregation. This was Moses. He called it the tent of meeting. This was his prayer closet, his prayer tent. This is where he prayed. Moses goes out to a place that's clean, out of defilement. And it came to pass, as Moses entered into the tabernacle, he's out in a clean place now, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of his tent. And the Lord talked with Moses. And the Lord spake to Moses face to face as a man speaks unto his friend. Aaron and the priest who had become defiled, the people were defiled. God was prepared if he had to, to do away with the whole scene. But one man, one man says, no, God, whatever it takes. And to tell a man it's going to take, tell Moses, a man meek, a man shut in with God in so many wonderful seasons, saying, there's more. Moses, I ask more of you. If I can find a man out of the place of defilement, in a clean place, with a heart broken, to seek me with all his heart, I'll send a cloud, I'll send a pillar, and I'll send the glory, and I'll talk face to face with you. It came to pass that everyone who sought the Lord went out to the tabernacle, the congregation, which was outside camp. You see, when, when a man steps out, he begins to give God everything. His life he begins to seek him with all his heart. He's going to attract every holy, godly people. He's actually you come up and come out. God wants to take you deeper and further than you've ever been. No matter how he's blessed you up to now, see nothing compared to what he has in store for you. Truly humble yourself. That's the cry of my heart.